Look, Ernie, I know you are OG in your own world and shit, man, but this is a serial game. These motherfuckers don't play around. You gotta come across the captain, that nigga Tony, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, that frog motherfucker dig him. Uh, shit, who, Sonny, that crazy ass bird? Nigga, you fucked up, nigga. You better re read it, goddammit, because they gunning. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of granddad, Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews. Food Dada Breakfast Edition. We got a food review today and we are going back into Cereal Land. Yes, Cereal Land, motherfuckers. It's been a hot minute. I've been waiting to do this again and I finally, finally have found a cereal that's worthy enough for the granddaughter to talk about. And it's from the OG and the cookie slash cracker game, but he decided to dip his little toe up into the cereal game. I don't know if that was a good idea, nigga, but shit, we don't see this nigga's back. He dropped some new shit. He don't know what the fuck he getting into, but goddamn it, we gonna see. Maybe he bringing that fire. I shouldn't have said that, Captain. I'm sorry. I sh you don't even know what fire, but maybe you don't know. Talking about the new cereal from them Keebler L motherfuckers, aptly titled Keebler Cereal on that ass. Now, for those who don't know, Keebler, like I said, is an OG in the cookie and cracker game. They got the grasshoppers, the, the fudge stripes, uh, the, 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 the coconut dreams. They got some good shit up on there. And then the crackers, they got the little cheese crackers with the little fucking uh, cheddar cheese crackers with cheese in the middle. Uh, a whole bunch of shit. Yo, they running the game and they doing the big things. The club crackers, all that shit. Yo, they, they OGs. They know what the fuck they doing in that little ass tree. But for the first time, they have ventured out and now they getting up into some cereal. And this shit looks like some, it, to me it looks like a rip off of Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Crisp because it's cookie. It's like the, the circular chocolate ball and then it looks like little cookie pieces too. I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But, yo, I mean, we going to see. Maybe they dropping something brand new. Maybe it's just, it looks similar, but maybe it is different. So what we going to do is we going to taste this shit. But you already know me. I can't taste cereal right here. It just ain't the right. It ain't the way to be. So we going back up in the kitchen, goddammit. Yes, motherfuckers, it's that time. Let's go. Back up in the kitchen. Ah, back up in the kitchen. Motherfuckers. All right, y'all, so we are back up in the kitchen. Well, it's a different kitchen this time, y'all, because, nigga, I moved shit. Same, same shit, though. Different kitchen, same review shit. So, of course, we got to lay out the utensils. So, of course, we got the cereal right here. Keebler, cereal on deck. We got the ceramic bowl. Perfect for tasting, as always. And we got the tablespoon. If you knew about my last review, you know what the fuck I'm talking about with the tablespoons. And we already know milk. All up in that fridge right there, because I don't fuck with this shit out there. It spoils and fuck. You know the deal. Watch Captain Crunch, and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, y'all. So, we're going to open this motherfucker up, look at it, see what it's all about. Because, I mean, I'm looking at it, looking like Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Chris got some, I mean, shh, well, we going to see. So, let's open this shit up. Hold on, how the fuck are you? Right here. All right, Ernie. You better be on some shit, nigga, all right? Because, you know, I'm risking my life with the Captain right now for your ass. So, let's open this shit up. I don't smell that bad, y'all, so let's look. I mean, a little far. All right, so this is, I'm guessing, the, the, the chocolate version of it. I don't fucking know. Is it, um, I mean, it looks chocolatey, so I'm throwing that right there. What a, what a chocolate chip nigga at, though. Hold on, we, they in here somewhere. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Is that it? Okay, it looks like a half shell. Okay, so it's a half shell chocolate chip shit. So I guess, what the fuck out? We gonna throw it up in there. So let's pour this shit in the bowl. Come on, all right. Pour this shit. Make sure we get an even distribution. All right. Good enough, goddamn it. Why the fuck not? Put that right there. Can you see it? I don't fuck right there. Okay. All right, so let's go get that milk real quick. And you know how I do. You know how I do. It's a little low today. You know, my stomach drinking all goddamn day, but it's all good. Whole milk or no milk, goddamn it. Throw it up in the bow. All right. So put that back. Don't too spoil. All right, so we know what to do. Boom. Boom. Let's put this in here. All right, y'all. So let's see what these elves are doing because you know they know how to make some cookies. They know how to make some crackers, but can they make some goddamn cereal? Let's see. Here we go. Wait, make sure I get a little bit of both. Here we go. Hold the fuck up. Ernie. Did you just steal from some other? This nigga Ernie just stole from Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Crisp. I, just as I fucking thought, y'all. This one, hold on. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's still pretty good. It tastes like Cocoa Puffs, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. And with a hint of Cookie Crisp. You demon elfin motherfucker. Alright, y'all, so. Hold up. 
So like I said, the cereal here is just a fusion, pretty much. They really ain't done no new shit. They just took two cereals that we know and love and put them in the same fucking box and kind of just changed the look of the shit. I mean, it's not as chocolatey as Cocoa Puffs. It's a little less chocolatey. And you know, you can't really taste the cookie crispness of the cookie crisp in this shit. But it's there. It's nothing spectacular or special. I mean, it's I right, shit. I mean, I don't like it like it, but I eat the shit. Ernie, you made me risk my relationship with the captain for this bullshit. You lucky you still make the grasshoppers, nigga. Because I wouldn't fuck with you other than that. But, I mean, I'm going to finish the bowl, you know. I don't waste food. You know, I'll pay for this shit. All right. All right, well, you know what? The Keebler cereal, because it, it just says Keebler cereal. I don't even say, like, what kind of cereal. But the, the Keebler Cocoa Puff. Cookie Crisp ripoff cereal, if I'm gonna call it, is uh, it's not bad. It's okay. It just tastes just like the same shit. So I mean, if you don't want to spend money on two boxes of cereal, if you're a fan of Cookie Crisp and Cocoa Puffs, then buy this shit. Two birds, one stone, and you get these elf niggas. I mean, that's it, and that's pretty much all I gotta say. I'm not really impressed, y'all. I mean, Ernie, you and the elves need to just go back to cookies and crackers. Like, don't do the cereal games. Too many motherfuckers in the game. Them motherfuckers gonna fuck you up. Like, I swear to God, Sonny gonna go cuckoo on your ass. And that wolf motherfucker's just gonna chomp the shit out of you when he sees you and then eat a cookie afterwards. Cause like, biting ain't right. Biting ain't right, goddammit. But that's what I gotta say about the cereal, y'all. So, I mean, there it is. The Keebler cereal. It's cool for what it is. I mean, I'm probably gonna eat another bowl. Cause, you know, it ain't bad. But, I mean, it's just, it's nothing new or nothing innovative. So, shit, if you wanna try it, go for it. But, like, just get some Cocoa Puffs and some Cookie Crisp and you be good. But there it is right there. This Stephen motherfucker got away with a cereal. Goddamn. Sonny, look, man, I, I'm just telling you, man, this nigga Ernie up here just ripped off your cereal, nigga. I think you need to go cuckoo on this nigga. It ain't even that chocolatey, nigga. It's like half the chocolate that you'll be having. Like, seriously, you need to get, handle this shit. Like, I can, I can let you know where his tree's at. Like, I know where it's at. I mean, just don't tell him I told you, but I'm just, I'm just doing this because, you know, this ain't right in the game. I'm a, I'm a strong advocate for the cereal game, and this shit ain't right. So you need to fix this shit right now. Call the wolf nigga, too, because he biting off him. You have him for backup, because you never know. I heard them elves are some fierce motherfuckers when they squat up. All right? Cool. Oh, shit. Let me get off the phone and do a review. So, uh, yeah, y'all. Yeah, uh, so as I was saying, the, uh, the Keebler cereal right here, uh, shit. Yeah, the Keebler cereal right here is cool for what it is, but it, it really reminds me of fucking Cocoa Puffs and fucking Cookie Crisp combined together in just one fucking cereal and then put with this nigga on here. I mean, Ernie, you ain't slick. I saw what you was doing. Like, you just stick with the cookies and with the crackers, nigga. Don't get into a game you don't know nothing about because now you're going to have niggas after you. I don't know how many elves this dude got. He may be ready for it. He may be squatted up in that fucking tree. I might have started some beef, y'all, but I don't fucking care, y'all, because this cereal right here is cool. It tastes okay. It's not nasty at all, but it just doesn't bring anything new to the table. So, I mean, if you want to try this shit, if you like both those cereals and have the thought of putting them in one, Go for it, but if you just like the original shit like I do, because I fucking love Cookie Crisp and I love Cocoa Puffs, I just eat the original shit because it's better than this shit. So if you want to try it, give it a shot. I think you can get this shit at Walmart. That's where I got it. I think it was like three bucks or something like that. So yeah, give it a shot if you want to try it. But yo, don't expect nothing spectacular. Stick with the niggas' cookies and crackers because that's where he shines. This shit, not so much. But Ernie, you tried, nigga. You tried. And if a fucking crazy-ass bird and a wolf shows up at your tree, it wasn't me, nigga. It was not fucking me. Maybe. I don't... It was so my final verdict, I'm not saying that the Keebler cereal is overall an okay cereal that just tastes exactly like the shit that we've had before with Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Crisp. All I'm saying is that the cereal was pretty good, yo. I'm not gonna lie, it is tasty, it ain't, it ain't bad, but at the same time, it's nothing fucking new. Like I said, if you want Cookie Crisp, get Cookie Crisp. If you want Cocoa Puffs, get Cocoa Puffs. But if you want this shit together and don't want to buy two boxes, then this will be your fucking option, but it still won't be as good as the originals. But other than that, it's just an okay cereal. I don't think this shit's gonna last. I think it's a flash in the pan for the most part. I think it's just something that that nigga Ernie wanted to do because the nigga was bored because he's just running the fucking cookie cracker game. He's like, whatever. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. But there it is. So all I gotta say is that for me, the Keebler cereal is not granddad approved, but I will give it a granddad recommended. So go check it out if you want to try it out. It's in stores, like I said, right now, but don't expect much. And like, shit, there you go. There's the Keebler cereal. I mean, yo, I may have just started some cereal beef, but I don't fucking care. He shouldn't have been in the game anyway. He ain't, he ain't fit for this. He's not fit for this shit. But I got nothing more to say. Keebler cereal is granddad recommended. So check it out if you want to. And you don't mind eating a rip-off cereal, because that's pretty much what this shit is. Flip it.
All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of the Keebler cereal, if you've had it. If you have not had it, like I said, it's a pretty good cereal. It's just nothing new, and it's pretty much a blatant ripoff of Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Crisp. I know I keep saying that shit, but yo, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist with a cereal game. I respect the game, and I just don't like the fact that this thing is blatantly biting off two OGs like that. You can't do that shit, Ernie. You can't do that shit. But it's all good. Check it out if you want to. It's a decent cereal. Previous videos on the side as well as my latest single. Check that out. Show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below and subscribe. Button on the screen, button below. Will reviews twice a week. CDK Stemmy's coming back. Check out the gaming channel and all that other good shit. Hit the notification bell so you can know when I drop shit and everything else that involves Grand Data. Check it out because it's dope. So until next time, I'm going to take my leave. Grand Data, Keebler, fucking cereal. Rip off ass shit. It's good though. It's pretty good, but it ain't great and it ain't nothing amazing. But hey, it is what it is. Ernie, I'm sorry if you get fucking jumped. I'm sorry, but hey, I had to do it. I'm out of here.